welcome back in today's video i'm going to talk about how i do really simple weekly task management using roam research hey guys my name is ev and i create content around systems tools and workflows for part-time creators to publish more content effortlessly and with ease okay so let's talk about using roam research for task management now caveat Rome is not a task manager. It is for kind of notes and kind of free flowing ideas. Uh, but if you're not doing any kind of uh, complicated project management, then uh, Rome could be a really great way if you're already using it just to be able to plan your week really simply and get more stuff done. Now, why should you use Rome for task management and not an actual um, task manager? Great question. Um, I find for me, I'm in Rome all day, writing, journaling, interstitial journaling, writing content, um, doing all sorts of things. Like it is really my daily driver as a knowledge worker. What I find is like, if I have, if I'm thinking about a task that I have to do and I've got to jump in somewhere else, write it down, or I've got to click between apps, my flow really, you know, it, it gets disturbed. And so what I think is if you're already using Roam and you want to stay in flow and you have kind of a simple, pretty much a simple kind of weekly task list, it can really work to keep you in flow and to get more stuff done and really focus on the things that you need to focus on. Like I'm going to show you kind of the three focus levels that I use um, to help me to focus at different points. So like at a really high level, at a week level, and then at a daily level. So let's jump in and have a look how it works. All right, so this is a really simple system. It kind of consists of four different focus levels. The first one is where I just list all of my projects and tasks. And I just have a simple page that is called current projects. Uh, it's not this particular one. This is just for the video. There's a lot more <laughs> tasks on it, but I basically list project at the top and then nest a whole lot of tasks underneath. And so anytime I think of something or a new project I want to do or a new task I have to do for a project, it goes in here. So what will happen then is that at the beginning of the week or end of the week kind of prior, I'll go through and I'll start to plan my week. And so I'll just scan through the list and say, okay, what is everything that I wanna do up next? So I might say, okay, for this email course, I want to write the emails in the next week. So I just add my tag, which is up next. I might say I want to, yep, get everyone, send everyone the DMs and I might have a look down here. Oh yeah, I need to update this course outline, okay? And so I end up with kind of a whole lot of tasks that have this tag up next. That takes me probably less than two minutes uh, in a week just to quickly scan through my list and say, yep, these are all the tasks that I wanna do up next. So that's kind of focus level one. Focus level two is then everything comes into this page called weekly planner. And this is a really simple page that has a whole lot of queries on it. So you'll see this next up query, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and there's some agendas down the bottom. So if you have a look in here, our up next tasks that we just tagged are now in this query. And that is because the query, it looks complicated. Queries are just, they're not as complicated as they look. So it's basically searching for anything that is a to-do up next in the page current projects. And then it's not looking for anything that is tagged as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, waiting or agenda. Um, and so the really great thing is that I end up with a whole lot of tasks in here that I know I want to do in the week. And then I simply go through and I tag them with a day. Okay, so um, let's say I need to write these emails on a Monday. They get tagged and they go straight in there. And then I might go, yeah, I want to do this on Tuesday. And then this one, I'll probably need to wait until Friday. And so my goal is to uh, empty the next up query and have everything dumped into a day that I want to do it on. Now, you'll notice this system, I do not use dates at all. I And the reason for that is I cannot remember what, I, I don't know what the date is going to be. If I'm planning on a Friday, I'm 
don't know what the date is next Thursday. And I find that gets me out of my flow. And so it's much easier for me to say, I'm going to do that on Thursday. Then I'm going to do that on the 26th of February, for instance. Like I just don't, I don't remember those dates. So I just use the days and this works really well for me. Uh, so then what I'll do is I'll just scan through the days and see, you know, have I put too much on Monday? Do I need to move that to a Tuesday? Do I need to move that to a Wednesday? And it's as simple as just going like this. I always add the tag first. It will transfer into Wednesday and then I take it out of Tuesday. Really like for me, I find this super simple. And so I've, so then I have like this, you know, current projects, weekly planner, and then I could very easily come into the weekly planner every day and see, okay, I've got Monday tasks. I could even kind of press shift click and have that be in my sidebar. But what I find is that I want kind of this third level of focus, which is these is everything that I have to do today. And so that happens on my daily page. And so I keep a really simple daily page and I have this button that will generate all of the tasks that I have to do today. Now, this is a smart block um, feature or a smart block template that you can use. So if you don't have smart blocks installed, you can either choose to install it and I just suggest do it. It's the most fantastic thing um, that you can add to Rome, in my opinion. Um, if not, you could use a query. So the same as on the weekly planner, like you, you could just take this query and you could use that on your daily page and it would work exactly the same. The reason that I don't do that is one, I find it clutters up my daily page and something in me just can't handle that. Um, but as well, if I tick that off, it, it disappears. And so I don't have a sense of accomplishment of what I'm doing in the day. Um, and I like to just see my list with, with things ticked off. So I, I don't do it that way, but you can definitely add that. So let me tell you about this smart block. And to do that, I'll just open up my template repo. So how you create these is one, you need to have a smart block template that searches for the task that you want on that day. So for instance, Friday. So to, to make a smart block template, you just go you hash 42 smart block that tells Rome that it's going to be a template. You put a name Friday tasks, and then this is a query. So basically it's searching for anything that is a to do that's undated that is up next tagged as up next, tagged as Friday, and not a query. And so if I just go here, I can bring that up, Friday tasks, and it will bring up all of my Friday tasks here. But I just like using a button, it makes it super easy. So on my actual daily page template, I generate this button. And the way that that's generated is basically like this. So you have the button name, generate today's tasks. Then you have, it calls like whichever other smart block template that you want it to call. So smart block, Monday tasks or Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is. And then you can either choose to remove the button or to keep it. I keep it because sometimes I'll generate the tasks again or for some other reason. So anyway, what that does is when you click on it, up pops all of the tasks that you have for today. So what I find with that is it's really like you have these three levels of focus. You have the, uh, the, the projects and the task focus, which you can kind of be in once a week, brain dump a whole lot of stuff. You don't need to worry. Like it's really, really simple. Then you have your kind of weekly plan you can spend a few minutes every week just saying, I want to do this and this and this, like, and, and what days you want to do it on. And then you have kind of your, your focus in on the daily page, everything that you need to do on that day. And I just find this really helps me to focus in on everything that I'm going to do today. Don't have to worry about, you know, tomorrow or yesterday or anything like that. And so what happens is really simple. 
when I finish it, I click it. And that is the reason I like this rather than using a query, because then hopefully I'll have a whole lot of things that I've ticked off and, um, and I feel kind of a sense of accomplishment. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I am putting these videos out every Friday to help part-time creators publish more content effortlessly and make it look super easy.